From burlesquing at a members-only party to emceeing an 8th grade party as a glamorous devil to being a pumpkin to performing at a faux 20 party, it's safe to say that I had quite a busy Halloween. Watch the full video to see the chain of events in action. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more behind the scenes of what it's like to be an entertainer. All up in the NOLA verse. All up in the NOLA verse. There's community, fashion, entertainment, and play. What are we going to do today? Up in the NOLA verse. Hello, magical misfits. It's your girl, NOLA Bunny, and welcome back to the NOLA verse. I'm coming to you live with a Sniffly nose, a whole lot of allergies, and quite a bit of exhaustion. But that doesn't mean that I get to rest. No, no, it does not, because it is Hollow Weekend. It will no longer be Hollow Weekend by the time this video is out. But at this current moment, I am preparing for one of my busiest Hollow Weekends of my performance career, which is exhausting and exciting. <laughs> what makes it even more exhausting is that I just finished up an Exotica weekend last weekend, and I did not even get to rest the way that I normally like to after expos and I'm hopping right into it. Quite a few of these events are going to be really hard to get clips to show off to you guys, but I am going to do my best and show you guys some insight of what it's like to be a busy performer on Halloween. Tonight I am going to a members only sexy party. So no cameras allowed in there, no phones, no cameras, so you guys will not get to see the insight of my actual performance, but I'll try to get some green room footage. I am going to paint my nails, do my makeup, gather my supplies, and I will catch you guys when I can. Makeup is all on, and I am just about to get in the car and head to Brooklyn. Tonight, the queen of evil, Cruella DeVille, is coming to town. We all know what part this is. This is the part where I wait for Michael to get in the car and pray to the parking gods that we find parking in Brooklyn on a hollow weekend. Thoughts and prayers, my friends. Thoughts and prayers. Michael did it again, y'all. You're a parking wizard. What else is new? <laughs> you found parking in Brooklyn on Hollow Weekend. A++. Since we can't use any phones in there, I just wanted to show off your look. Even though the lighting is kind of, you know, not great, but we got kind of like a Alice in Wonderland, Mad Hatter vibe going. Thanks to Enchilada. Yeah, enchilada, coming to play. I am the first performer here. This is the only room that has lighting. I am going to transform and I believe I will have a moment to show y'all what Cruella looks like. Just a little peek. You'll have to watch the rest of the video to see the whole look. Everyone loved your unintentional Mad Hatter. Where's enchilada? Enchilada! Depends which end you're trying to talk to. Yes, hey Enchilada. Did you have a fun night, Emmy? Yeah. Fun first night of Hollow Weekend. Hollow Hollow Week. Still got, still got a whole lot to go through, so let's get home and barely get some sleep and then wake up and get ready for the next show. Bye, baddie bats. <laughs> Today is a really big day in the Nolaverse. Michael is on his way to Nola Buddy Productions' first official country club gig. Last month, we face painted at a police station and they loved us so much that they actually passed our information over to a local country club. And Michael and my sisters, Hallie and Danielle, are really pulling through for me because I was already booked. I'm going to be emceeing an eighth grade party. Michael and my sister Hallie are going to be face painting at the country club. And my sister Danielle is going to be manning the pumpkin painting station. Are you ready for Nola Bunny Productions country club gig? Oh yeah, is um, enchilada's hat the right size? You know, I think it looks better on you. Let's see oh. it on you. Oh bother. Let me borrow that hat. Let me borrow that hat. 
Let's see the fit. Let's see the fit. Do a spin. Ooh la la. Happy Halloween. All right, y'all. Here is my MC devil gal look. I want to take a moment to document myself stating that today was a really big lesson. When we get what we want, sometimes it's going to feel anxiety ridden. Sending my partner and sisters to a gig that I wasn't physically at and really putting the trust in them. And thank God it's my family. I mean, my family wants to see me do well. Of course, I can trust them more than I can trust a lot of people. But there's just something so anxiety ridden about not being able to physically be there and just wondering if the client's gonna be happy and it's completely out of my control. And it's not only a really good lesson in letting go of control, but also trusting your team and just knowing that whatever happens is going to happen already anyway, and that I can handle it and that I'm meant for it. It's happening for me, it's coming to me because I've put all the work into making this a reality. Fit check. This devil costume is actually a 1960s majorette costume, which came complete with a matching doll in an identical outfit. About to get the MC going. Fancy pool back there. Just getting funky with a bunch of 13 year olds, showing them how Nola Bunny gets down. Third day, here we go. I am feeling a little pumpkin spice, tis the season. Today, Michael and I are going to be performing together at a kid's party, and then we are going to a faux 20 social club where Michael will be face painting and doing balloons and I will be performing burlesque. And here's the look of the day. I found this dress at my local thrift store and I knew immediately when I saw it that it was going to serve the purpose of a pumpkin dress. And it did not fail me. Michael's counting was a big hit with the children. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I did my best to not feel threatened when this little girl tried to turn me into a jack-o'-lantern. Hey. You know, I'm a pumpkin and seeing that come at me, that's a little frightening because you could just cut me in half. You could just cut me in half and turn me into a jack-o'-lantern. That's a little scary. I'm a very sleepy pumpkin. We still got one more gig to go for tonight and then one more tomorrow and then I can kind of just barely sleep in November. How you holding up, Scarecrow? Oh, they fed us at the last gig and I'm stuffed. I am not stuffed enough because it was mostly meat and I don't eat meat. I'm Pumpkins just all full of meat. hay yeah. already, so <laughs> it doesn't take much. Pumpkins just eat seeds and dirt and water. We are here at our second gig of the day, but nearing the end of the Halloween 2022 saga. We will be back here tomorrow. We are at the Faux 20 Social Club. Michael is downstairs doing his face paint thing and I'm up here in what is normally the members only arcade section of the Social Club, but right now it's locked up so I thought it might be a cool opportunity to show you guys what it looks like up here. So let's take a little look. All right, we got some retro. And then we got, we got some poker table, ooh, poker face. Another retro game, I'm not a gamer, but anyone that is, you would really, really appreciate all the games here. Ooh, we got some. Pac-Man. And let's see what's going on downstairs and I'll be performing in about an hour. Sunflower Queen! So UV reactive! Yeah. Right? Me neither. Here's Michael doing his face paint thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Woo! Seeing people's reactions when they look in the mirror is one of my favorite parts of the face paint journey. These two were my favorite looks of the night. 
I met the Smokestack Temple crew at a convention the month before, and it was an absolute honor to be invited as the entertainment for their Halloween event. Y'all, this is the number one faux 20 friendly spot in North New Jersey, and I am leaving their information in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. All right, I have transformed into Z. White rabbit. This crowd was very receptive in joining me down the rabbit hole. We are feeling very back to you over here. We are back at the Smokestack Temple. It is officially Halloween. I am exhausted. I have been going and going and going. But I finally get some rest, just barely, because, you know, there's always the next thing to to have to get through, but Halloween busyness is coming to an end. I am going to transform, put my makeup on, and become Yvette the Maid, and get ready to entertain Z folks, and Michael is downstairs face painting. I have officially transformed into Yvette the Maid. If I have any Clue friends in the house, I actually was in a clue themed party over the summer and I thought I would make a great Yvette so that's the character I grabbed and I created an act around Yvette using Ariana Grande's dangerous woman and I felt like such a rock star during that performance that I decided this needs to be a reoccurring act. It's very good for groundwork when I'm interacting directly with the audience. So let's see if tonight goes as well as it did last time. This will only be my second time performing this routine. But Yvette the maid is in the house. Oops, Yvette did it again. Our rainbow question mark queen from last night came back for some angel wings. The balloon art was also quite a hit. I am ending my Halloween exactly how I started it, bringing you the queen of evil, Ms. Cruella de Vil. Cruella de Vil. Oof, if she don't scare you, then Nola Bunny probably won't. But if you're lucky, I might take it off. Oop, oop. Cruella, Cruella de Vil. <laughs> Y'all, that first ha <laughs> ha was like legitimate my real laugh. I'm a fucking person. Well, sorry to disappoint you, Waldo, but this act isn't exactly puppy friendly. Okay, before I completely change out of Corella, I did want to show you guys some of our decorations. Say hello, clown. <laughs> have officially come full circle because I'm also wearing the same jumpsuit that I started my weekend off. Cruella DeVille went fantastic as she always does. It's my signature act. It's a crowd favorite. Whether you're a dog lover, a cat lover, whether you're booing, whether you're booing, there's a little something for every vibe in there. But just like that, Hollow Weekend and Halloween night have officially come to an end. On to the next project. Till next time, my friends.